September 1st, 1939. German forces cross the Polish border, beginning World War II in Europe. Germany quickly overruns Poland, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium, and France, leaving Britain to stand alone until a surprise German assault on the Soviet Union penetrates to the gates of Moscow. The other side of the world sees increasing tension between Japan and the United States over Japanese aggression in China. Then, on December 7, 1941, a Japanese surprise attack on Pearl Harbor shatters the U.S. Pacific Fleet and brings the United States into the war. It's now 1942, and you control the fate of nations. Axis and Allies, the World War II Grand Strategy Game. Can you marshal your country's economic and military might to defeat your enemies? With judgment, strategy, and a little luck, you can end the war victoriously and win the game. Axis and Allies is a five-player game. You'll lead one of the major powers, the USSR, Germany, the United Kingdom, Japan, or the United States. You can play with up to four friends or let your CDI player control some of the countries. There are two teams. The USSR, the United Kingdom, and the United States form one team, the Allies. Germany and Japan are the other team, the Axis. You and your partners win or lose the game together, so teamwork is important. You play the game on a map of the world divided into territories, or areas. Each player has a capital area. To win the game, your team must capture two enemy capitals. There are ten types of playing pieces, or units, in the game, including infantry, tanks, aircraft, and ships. Each player begins with forces on the map, deployed as the real armies and navies were in the spring of 1942. Each player also begins with a number of industrial production certificates. IPCs are the money of Axis and Allies. You use your IPCs to buy new units. The more IPCs you have, the more you can buy. The map window shows you the territories of the world. The colors show you who controls each territory, and the symbols show where their forces are. The close-up window gives you a detailed look at an area, the area's name, economic value, and the exact types and numbers of units located there. The icon window shows you the current game status and lets you choose specific units from the forces in an area. You use the cursor highlight to control the game. As you move your controller, the highlight moves in the same direction. This lets you move around the map, buttons, and icons. Press button 1 on your controller to select the highlighted item. Press button 2 on your controller to stop what you're doing. For example, if the highlight's in the icon window and you press button 1, you select the highlighted icon. If you press button 2, you stop moving around the icons and the highlight jumps to the map window. If you press button 2 again, you stop moving on the map and the highlight goes back to the icon window. Most of the decisions in Axis and Allies require you to choose one or more units. When the unit icons are showing, use your controller to move the highlight from icon to icon. Press button 1 to begin selecting units. Then move your controller up and down to increase and decrease the number of units selected. The number underneath the icon shows the current total. Press button 1 again when you're done selecting units. If you're looking at the land unit icons, you can select the C button to get to the ship icons. Similarly, you can select the land button to return to the land unit icons. 
the aircraft icons appear with both the land and the sea icons. If you change your mind about your current action while you're selecting units, just press button 2. Now that you know how the screen works, let's see how you play the game. The players always move in the following order. First, the USSR, then Germany, the United Kingdom, Japan, and the United States. During each player's turn, you do the following steps, called the action sequence. First, use your IPCs to purchase new units. Second, move your units. Third, resolve combat in every area with both you and your enemy's units. Fourth, return your airplanes to base and move any units which haven't yet moved this turn. Fifth, place the units that you purchased at the beginning of your turn. Last, you collect more IPCs for territories you control. At any point during the game, you can get help by selecting the Help icon. The close-up window will give you a choice of help topics. The first topic will always be instructions on the current part of your turn. Use this for a refresher on what to do. Use the victory topic to see at a glance the current IPC totals, income, and captured capitals. The R&D topic shows which superweapons have been developed. The index item takes you to the program index. Use it to refresh your memory on any given topic.